In this video, we will see the different options you have in order to explore your data in a topic, and we will speak about filters, metadata, and sorting. So let's click on the topic called Payments. And here I can see 500 of the most recent records on all the partitions of my topic payment. This is the default filter, but obviously you can change that. So if you want to consume on a specific partition, for example, you can click here and select your partitions. You can also change the limit of records that are consumed by going here and selecting another option. And finally, you can change the show from. It can be time-based on latest hour, today, yesterday, beginning, specific date, specific timestamp, or it can be also offset-based, which is a specific offset in the topic, or based on the offset of the consumer group. So let's select this one and that way we will consume 500 records starting from the offset number 1000. And if I click on one record, I can check the offset of this record by going in the metadata tab and I can see it just right there. Now, if you want to consume between two offsets, something that you can do is basically consuming from the beginning, add a filter, which will be an advanced filter using the JavaScript. And if you paste this condition here, it will return all the records that have an offset that is higher than 1000 and lower than 2000. If I click on apply, it will print me 500 of these records. And same, if I want to check that, you can click on it, go in the metadata and see if it checks the condition that you've just made. Now, if you want to consume on a specific um, field, you can click on most recent. I will pick this uh, this record, for example, and I can see the from owner that is this person. And if I want to filter all the records that match with this um, with this condition, I can click on this funnel icon here, and that way it will print the records that match with the condition in the 500 most recent records. Another way to filter on values is to click on a record and select this, for example, in the from owner field, and I can create a simple filter and I will search in a specific field. This specific field can be the from owner. And I will say this must contain the word silver. If I click on apply, it will print the record I've just, I was searching for. Now I'd like to show you how to consume between two dates. So for that, I will go in the show from and select a date, which will be yesterday, starting from 10 a.m. And the end date, which is the limit, will be today at 10 a.m. as well. And that way, I will consume all the records that match with this condition. So it's increasing right there. And at some point when it will stop, I can see that there is almost uh, 45,000 records and you can see that it stops just before the uh, limit condition. If you want to order the timestamp, you can click here and select uh, the sort ascending or descending. The last thing that I would like to show you is to go back in the most recent and here if I select the known, which is the live consume, I will simply live consume the data. So it's consuming right now. These are the data that are coming in the topic right now. Something that you can do is create a filter on this. So for example, if I want to create a filter on um, the amount, and I will say the amount is greater than 200, it will live consume and print all the records that match with this condition. And if I click on this one, for example, I can see the amount is higher than 200 and there is another one that is just right there. 